Hello, Jamal here and welcome to a new series of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. If you've been watching the older videos, welcome back, and if you haven't, welcome. Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead is an open source zombie survival roguelike, a game I like a lot. And uh, last time I played, the game was in a version 0 0.5, 0 0.6. And uh, I felt like playing the game uh, last weekend here at the beginning of March 2014. And uh, by chance, a new stable version of the game was just released, the version 0 0.a or 0 0.10 if you prefer. The link is in the video description, but of course, if you are watching this on a later date you should get the latest stable version whatever that is or if you want you can get the latest experimental build the latest successful nightly build the link to this is also in the video description but uh, as said i'm playing with version 0.a the stable build that has been released um in the version 0.8, the game got tileset support. And uh, speaking of tilesets, I'm not using a default tileset packed with the game at the moment, but instead I'm using Raka tileset. The link to this is also in the video description. And whenever you are watching this, the latest download link is probably at the last page, at least at the moment it is. Anyway, uh, you'll see how that looks in the game when I get to that. I won't be going through the changes in this version. I won't be going through the changes that had taken place after I last played because there has been so much. So uh, without further ado, I will just start a new game. And uh, I will be probably talking about uh, what has changed as I observe them uh, on my own. But uh, all in all, just a new series, having fun, trying to survive in the, in the zombie-invested uh, post-apocalyptic world. I'll be creating a custom character, and one of the things added in this version of the game is the mod manager. And uh, the game comes packed with a couple of the mods, and a couple of them go by default into the world generation, the medieval content pack and old guns. I'm not going to use the other ones. Uh, the dinosaurs or even more guns, but uh, I'm sure there are a whole lot of mods in the forums and more will come as uh, as the game develops. But uh, I'll generate the world with these, so there will be medieval, medieval content, medieval armors, weapons and some old guns. I won't change the default options. If you really like cities, big cities, um, increasing the size of the cities a bit might be a good option or whatever you want to do. Some like to play with longer seasons, longer months, but uh, I will keep that on default. And uh, I think a world named Pineland is just fine, so I will generate that. And uh, just for a brief moment, the game generates the world on a slower computer that might take a little while, but not too much. The character development is more or less the same as it was when I last played, but there are more traits. There is now a maximum you can take from the negative and from the positive side, 12 points either way. And uh, there are a whole lot of professions now. The default survivor uh, starts with only the pocket knife and some water and a matchbook with, without any skills. But uh, if you want to take some skills or items right away, uh, taking a look at the professions is a good idea. Some of them might be might be really good. Uh, uh, they give um, you get more uh, more for your points, if you will, than you do with uh, with the survivor. For example, uh, taking um, uh, let's pick some uh, for example this mechanic here. It uh, only costs one point, but you get three points in mechanic, and you uh, start with uh, brit wrench and tool belt and stuff. So uh, if you go and pick up one one skill point in mechanic from the skills, you pay one point for one. So uh, it's a good thing to look at. Uh, I will stay with survivor. I haven't really looked at the, looked at the professions much, apart from these ones that uh, give some sort of negative. Uh, negative uh, traits, like uh, starting with uh, some uh, some uh, substance withdrawal effects. These can be really harsh and really, really hard. For a challenge, 
playing with the tweaker or crackhead might be a good idea, but I won't be doing that. I'll uh, create a character that is um, that uh, is good for survival, and uh, maybe if you haven't played the game, you can uh, create a similar character. Uh, should be good for a for a long-term survival. I'll pick the negative traits, addictive personality. Uh, I won't be using too many substances, or I will try to keep the usage in uh, in moderation, so the effects won't kick in too hard. And uh, I'll pick up glass jaw. Um, usually when you get a good helmet, that doesn't really matter. And uh, if you get beaten up so much that 80% uh, of head health isn't enough, you are probably dead anyway. Um, heavy sleeper. Uh, Insomniac is an option, but I won't pick that. Uh, I like to sleep when I can, uh, and uh, in Insomniac makes that uh, quite quite hard. Since the NPCs are still not working in this version, I don't have them in, so I will power play a bit and pick up the Truth Teller and Ugly. And I'll also pick uh, weak stomach, so I'm picking uh, 11 points in the negatives. Um, I think that will be enough. From the positive ones, I like to take night vision, makes nighttime raiding a whole lot easier. And uh, quick is something I always get, just makes survival that much easier. And uh, there are a whole lot of mutations added in this version, so uh, robust genetics is even better than it was before, so I will pick up that as well. And uh, the rest of the points is uh, its really optional. You can, uh, you can, of course, you can create whatever character you want, but if you want to follow this as a kind of a beginner's guide, you can uh, remove some of the, some of the negative ones or you can uh, get more intelligence, more strength. Keep at least 11 strength. I have noticed that uh, with 11 strength, it's much, much less likely to get weapons stuck on a zombie and not, not being able to yank it free. With 10 strength, the weapon sometimes gets stuck and you can't yank it free and uh, you, won't have any, you won't have anything to hit with your second uh, upcoming swing. So uh, 11 on that. Uh, 10 perception, you can detect traps unless you have uh, something in your eyes, sun glare or something. And uh, the remaining points, if you want a really, uh, really easy, uh, easier start, putting some points in uh, survival is good. So you can uh, create a bow right from the beginning. But uh, I don't think I will go that that way this time. I will. Uh, I will actually look uh, at the professions. Should I start with one that costs two points or something? Let's see. So I could start with some uh, some interesting ones. Mm. A tailor. Tailoring four is really good, and starting with the sewing kit is uh, is fantastic. So actually, this uh, this this is really good uh, good starting character. You can craft uh, craft a whole lot of things if you start with this. You know what? I will I will start with Taylor. Let's do that. And um, mm, let's go for twelve strength. So we have a really strong Taylor. <laughs> I'm not sure how that uh, how that would come to be, but anyway, not picking up any. Uh, any skills apart from the tailoring that I have, and it should show up in here. Yeah, I could still uh, still put points into it uh, if I want. In the version I was playing, and I'm I'm not sure if it was possible to play as female, but now it is, so I think I will. And uh, Isabel Simmons, it's uh, it's okay name for me. So uh, I have a female tailor who is in incredibly strong. Uh, who has night vision, who is quick, and has robust genetics. But she also has weak stomach, addictive personality, glass jaw, and uh, she is a heavy sleeper. So, Isabel, here we go. 
and uh, this is what the tile set looks like with the 32 by 32 uh, dimensions in uh, in this version you can also zoom out which is great for uh, looking around and uh, also uh, mouse controls um, you uh, you can uh, mouse over things to look and I think you can also move Well, maybe not. Anyway, like most games, I will start by taking a look outside, taking a look at the map, and then um, creating myself a nail board from those benches. I think that is a farm. Hmm. That close by, that gives an interesting option. We also have a crater there. We have another shelter up north. So right there. And uh, what is that? Slime pit. That's not good. That will generate nasty creatures. But we have a decently sized town here. So we have a bank. We have a clothing store. Clothing store is an excellent place to hit first. We actually have two of them. Chances of finding backpacks are pretty good. There's also a pool here, which means uh, more or less infinite water in this town. Uh, liquor store, park, another park up north. We have a library, which is great. Some uh, skill books for my, uh, for my lady to train with. A bar, fast food restaurant, and then all these green ones are houses. And this is hotel. Alright, it's quite close to the... Quite close to my uh, evacuation shelter, so I might, uh, might need to be careful here. Right, but outside I see a rock. Alright, the red-shirted character there is me. And uh, I will pick up this rock, because with this rock I can... Um, I can hit, hit some nails through a board to make the nail board. Yeah, I just realized that because I start with the sewing kit, I could craft all kinds of things with this tailor. Hmm. I haven't played with the tailor before, so... Uh, So we will have to see how that goes. I'm sm smashing these benches here out to uh, have some boards and nails. Opening the crafting window and we will create a nail board. Mm, I don't need the rock. So let's just wield that. Because I have the sewing kit to begin, I can smash these windows and get the sheets, cut them out to racks, and more or less craft whatever I want. I'm thinking I want to craft a pouch. I'm not sure if I can craft a... Uh... Oh, I, I can craft a whole lot of things. Just a moment, let's use the... Can I craft a backpack with tailoring 4? Yes, I can. Wow. Alright. I like this tailor. Taylor starts here. Let's, uh... Okay. There's a whole lot of stuff in the basement of the shelter as well. Not something that always happens. Let's take a... Wow, there's a backpack here. All right. I thank you. <laughs> uh, I've, I've played some test games and... Uh, very often this basement is... Is um, empty. <laughs> this is a jackpot, jackpot of a basement. Uh, there's even boots. What do we have now? We have dress shoes. Okay, dress shoes can go. Let's put on the boots. Let's wear the neat hat. I didn't have a hat yet, no? 
Uh, vitamins, water, sure. Uh, cough syrup, sure, if nothing else for the bottle. Wool socks. Wool socks are great if I want my feet warm, but I don't think I need them right now, but I will pick them up for now. Don't need the fire extinguisher. Water purifier is amazing. Hot plates, I will pick up the batteries. All the... F Wait, is there something here? I heard a sound. I heard a sound. Building for beginners. There's something in here which me had. I don't like it. Ballistic glasses. Hmm. Yeah, this is um, this is really really good. I don't like those. Mm. I wonder if I can find recipes from in this tailoring book. Ah, skeleton! <laughs> Why didn't I pay any attention? Okay, so that explains why this place is so full. There was a survivor here who uh, who got killed. So uh, now the problem is getting away from this one. Luckily I crafted... Luckily I crafted the nail board. So uh, at least I can have my... Uh, my way with this. Mm, alright, alright. Let's think about this. I need to uh, leave some things behind here, or at least uh, organize them a bit better, so I can open the new layering system. Uh, I will drop the blazer, probably the polo shirt as well, and just keep the long sleeved shirt. Let's put the blazer on top. Anything else? Nothing special. Yeah, let's drop the blazer. That should put me relatively unencumbered. The polo shirt as well. And um, let's leave the books for now. The wool socks, I don't need those. Right, so what will I do? I think it's better for me to let the skeleton come up from the basement and maybe lure it to a window and then uh, start bashing it. So let's smash this window. Open the door there. And actually let's uh, smash that one as well. Opening the doors so I'll have something to go to before it comes out. Right. There it is. Now it knows I'm here. And it should be coming up. I think they can walk the stairs. Come on now. Okay, I will wait for the thing to come next to me. You see a skeleton on the stairs. Good. The skeleton is almost at the top of the stairs, and there it is. And now I have time to close the door. And uh, because it takes more movement cost for it to go through the window, I'll have time to get some uh, hits on it and it died. Nice. Skeletons aren't easiest to kill. So I need to be careful. Mm. The skeleton had leather pants. I will put 
those on. I will drop my pants. Yep, and I don't think that skeleton was alone in here. The amount of stuff here is um, unbelievable. I haven't seen. Uh, See, can I put on the t-shirt without encumbering myself? Yes, I can. Let's all put that under the long-sleeved one. Uh, there's a razor blade. Oh, not a weapon. Right, I don't have a, don't have a pocket knife with this character, so that might actually be a good one. I will pick up all the food. Don't need those. Hiking boots is great. I will drop my boots here and use the hiking boots instead. And oh, there's something here. Oh, nice. A fabrication book. That's awesome. A fitting long sleeved one. Let's pick up that one for now. Take off the other's long sleeved one and put the one that fits in. Mm. One thing I will try. Is can I cut the boots into letters? So let's Activate the scissors. Chop up what? The boots. Yes. Nice. Ten pieces of leather out of those boots. Excellent. Excellent. Let's take these leather patches up. I think I will be spending some time here in this uh, in this place. Uh, right, the razor blade is actually for crafting. I think I can leave that here as well. And uh, let's cut up that long sleeved shirt I'm not using. So let's use my scissors and chop long sleeved one. Drop the racks there. Great. Is there something else in here? No, wait. Let's go drop more stuff here first. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a bit, bit stunned here because I wasn't expecting to find so much stuff in... Uh, so much stuff in the basement because you usually don't. I have a pre pretty decent gear already and I haven't even started crafting, which was my plan with... Uh, plan with, uh, with Taylor and all. There's a sweater, clean water... Yeah, this... I don't know, if you, if you have played the game, tell me, uh, have you... Uh, have you ever seen a basement like this? Is this something in this new version that this is more likely? Because this is just unbelievable. I don't mind, but uh, uh, just uh, if you are watching this or seeing this game for the first time, this is not what usually happens. Usually you don't find anything in the, in the shelter. You just maybe craft the nail board or whatever other weapon you can craft and then you head to the nearest town and try to not get, not get killed by survivors until you find some useful stuff, but uh, I'll be uh, pretty well set here from the beginning. I'll be using my scissors again to cut the other boots I found. And the dress shoes. The sweater. Which is wool, so I can't. And then the t-shirt. With 
these leather patches and rags, my uh, tailor will be able to do uh, awesome things. Awesome, awesome things. I think I still heard a sound here in this basement. No, I'm not so sure anymore. I have found some vitamins, so I will take some. Even more, another long-sleeved one. Emergency blankets, even... Oh, wow, this is... This is just unbelievable. Well, I've been... No, I won't pick up that. Sci-fi novel... Alright, back up we go again and uh, use the scissors again. This time... Yet another pair of boots I found. I have so much leather, I can't wait to see what I can craft. Um, use the scissors, the long-sleeved one... And the other one as well. So more rags, more leather. Drop the books. The food and go get some more. The emergency blanket as well. Mm, right, I even got those ones as well I'm not using. The blazer is made out of wool. Right, let's see what else we have here. We have an umbrella, fire extinguisher, uh, we even find a winter coat here. The winter coat that is very, very big. I will come pick up that later. Glove liners, nice. Bandages, awesome. Two pairs of jeans, great. Chicken and dumplings, awesome. And uh, no. Sweatshirt. Winter boots, wow. Too bad for that, uh, that uh, person who uh, eventually became the skeleton, he, he was, he or she was quite well set here in the basement. But now it's all mine and I thank you for that. The scissors, let's pick apart the jeans. The other pair of jeans. And the other t-shirt. Even more rags. Drop the other stuff there, the food, the umbrella, well I guess I could cut the umbrella up as well, but let's keep it just in case it starts to rain. Maybe I could craft myself a raincoat. Alright, the fire extinguisher as well. Um, let's put on the glove liners. Am I too warm in hands? No. Alright, I didn't have gloves yet. Hm. Interesting. A whole lot of vitamins as well, which is awesome. Alright, more stuff. I will yeah I will pick up all of these all of these into uh, whatever parts they were made of so racks and uh, racks and wind boots. There's still more stuff in here. 
it has taken me this long just to empty this uh, basement and I'm still uh, quite amazed by it. Now I think the place is empty. Just walking around here to make sure. And uh, in the end there was no one else here. It was uh, just my imagination hearing uh, hearing sounds or something. Using the scissors again, can I take the winter coat? 27 racks, nice! That's a lot of things to craft from. Pants, long string. I will take all of these clothes, pick them apart. Let's butcher this, uh, or not, because I don't have a sharp item. Can I craft it out of the razor blade somehow? Probably. It. There it is. Um, let's find razor. Can't makeshift knife. I could create that with a spike. Or one rag and one spike. I think I can do that. So I want to be able to uh, butcher things anyway. So uh, let's smash the locker and that should be able to give me a spike. Yes. And then a makeshift knife. So with one rag be its handle, I guess, and with the rock, I have a knife. Let's close the curtains on the windows. Butcher the, butcher the skeleton so it doesn't rise up. And um, pick apart all the clothes. So the sheet, which should give a whole lot of racks, yes, 20. And now uh, I have all these windows here that have sheet in them, if I want to craft more stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking this... Uh, I'm thinking this tailor is pretty good character to start with. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about it, but with... with uh, such a huge supply of things from the sheets. You can uh, you can really grab. Of course, finding so many things, uh, so many things from the basement was uh, unexpected. Let's see. Let's see what I can craft. What I can't craft. That's uh, perhaps the more inter more. Uh, Interesting question. Leather backpack. Leather backpack needs scrap metal. Interesting. Storage 40. Alright, of course I can't create any. Hmm. Okay. Letter West. I can create letter armor helmet. Interesting. Cargo shorts. Can I create army pants? No, but I can create trench coat. Can I create uh, letter one?
Well, I will start with that anyway. A lot of pockets. Pockets in a trench coat. Not too encumbered in a torso from that either. Um, let me get some scrap metal. Maybe that leather backpack could be nice. So let me smash these. Uh, smash these up and pick some scrap metal up. Let's get some chunk of steel as well, just in case I need those for something. Drop the scrap metal and chunks of steel here. And let's go into crafting again. Armor, leather backpack. 20 leather patches. How many leather patches I have? 36. 115 racks, that's a lot. Mm. Yeah, I already have a backpack, so do I really want to create that? And I should take my sewing kit and uh, reload it with all the thread I have. And now uh, I could even pick up, I think I can get more thread out of a rack, can I? Disassemble a rack into... Right. Yes. Take the sewing kit and reload it. And now it should be loaded to 200 thread. As I noticed, some of the things required more. More things to be built with. Uh, I'm interested in the more, more protective items. I already have a... Um, I already have a backpack, so I don't necessarily need it. I have a trench coat. I could create myself a um, leather armor gauntlets for my hands. Protect my, uh, protect my hands. Since I am a woman, a leather bikini top protect uh, protect the upper body a bit better than the bra might be an option I don't think I'm skilled enough to create cargo pants hmm. I will create cargo shorts uh, all this is taking time so I'm already hungry and thirsty as well but that, that's uh, that's fine so let me take a look. Mm. Could create myself a sock or two. Mm. Yeah, the armor cone, let's those ones. And uh, leather bikini top. So let's put those on. Cut apart the bra. Reorganize a bit. protection for the most I'm actually pretty well set up maybe maybe some uh, headgear if I can 
Leather Armor Helmet sounds pretty good. 16 protection. Yeah, I'm thinking that one. Yep, let's create that. Put it on. And now I don't think I can take anything from the knit hat. Yeah. So let's drop that one. Well, this this first video turned out to be very different than uh, what I expected. Did I have some food here? Some ravioli? I guess that's fine as it is. I also have a hot plate, but I don't have uh, anything to cook stuff in. I have some water. Do I have something else to drink? I don't think there was. I will leave the chicken and dumplings, I think. Let's get one bottle of water and... Uh, maybe the ravioli, if, the, if it's too much for me to eat uh, chicken and dumplings now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I will keep on crafting. Let me see. One thing about this version is that uh, actually, even that uh, I, I out of habit was uh, collecting all the things here in one pile. Um, the game actually, I think it's maybe six squares that it picks for the crafting automatically. So you can actually actually get quite quite many things done. Um, yeah, I think I think that's really it. I'm even uh, decently decently warm. Protect the torso more. Letter vest. Letter backpack would be better than the normal one, but I don't have enough for that anymore. I have 11 left. Right, duffel bag might be might be good for carrying things, and then I could just drop it. And there are some other things I could craft as well, like a blanket, because with the blankets I can make a makeshift bed later on. Do I want to carry these things with me? I have 74 storage on me. That's pretty good. What I could do is um, make sure all my all the gear I have on is in good condition and uh, reinforced. Those also require. All right, you know what about the umbrella? Let's let's take that apart anyway. I think I can get plastic pieces out of it. I'm guessing. Okay, I will take the umbrella and disassemble it. Okay, I can't. Well, that's a shame. Because I think I could create... Hmm. No, they are crafting, not tailoring. I was thinking of creating a dust mask or something for my mouth to, uh, well, not get sick. But instead, I could put a bandana over my mouth. Doesn't protect much. Hmm. Heroes, heroes cloak in the back. 
maybe not. Some sort of protection would be nice, but uh, those are more of a fabrication thing than tailoring. So with that said, I think I am... I think I am done. Hmm, creating a letter. Leather sling. Hmm. Nah. It would be a ranged weapon I can create right away, but probably not. Let's uh, eat the ravioli and let's drink some water. I think I am ready to go. I don't know where at all. Probably going to take a look at this hotel and after after this start of the game I will probably die to the first zombie I see. Or I will run into a pack of zombies or something. Hmm. But let's pick these up. I think I want the building for beginners. The first eight one. One pack of coffee, just for the heck of it. Cough syrup. All the food is good. That book is good. Those things are great. Um, hmm. I don't need that many of the cough syrup, but the plastic bottles are so good that I will, uh, I will carry them with me. So I think I can take all the things I need for now. But I'll be quite full of it. So one option would be to keep this place as a base and run, run back and forth. Mm. Or find a base there. Closer to the town. I will uh, I will keep this as my uh, as my early base so the books will stay we stay here I can read them and I can cook here as well later on let's give the chicken and dumplings as a backup food on me I can leave the scissors as well. I do have the. I do have the makeshift knife with me to butcher and cut things up. Right, but what I really want to do before I go is use the sewing kit and uh, reinforce. Reinforce my gear. So uh, I have reinforced panties <laughs> and uh, 
reinforced bikini top now. Ballistic glass probably can't. Cargo shots, yes. With my skill, I'm actually being su successful with the first go, which is awesome. Oh, I managed to even improve the fit on the hiking boots. Nice. Extra sturdy. Extra sturdy re long sleeved shirt. Glove liners. Backpack. I need to fix the leather pants. Probably using the leather patches for this as well. So there, most of my, well, all of my clothes are now reinforced and uh, fitting. So my encumbrance is relatively low. I could easily, easily drop and not wear the t-shirt actually. Under all this, although the encumbrance I think comes from well, actually just the number of loads and then the backpack. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will actually drop the shirt. The torso is also quite warm. So let's leave the reinforced t-shirt here. Will that get the encumbrance off? Yes, excellent. And uh, legs are fine with one. The encumbrance comes from the leather pants. That's fine, they are quite protective. That's where I am using them. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite well set up for some zombie bashing. Uh, interestingly, this took me 50 minutes to get here uh, with uh, intro and character creation and all. As I said, not uh, not the video I planned for this to be. But uh, you uh, you go with what you get. I will uh, get closer to the hotel and see how many zombies are here and uh, I will end this video soon-ish. Okay, zombie dog. Not really what I wanted to see, actually. But it is what I get. Those are one of the nastiest, nastiest enemies and they usually hunt in packs. So uh, despite the great beginning I had there, I might be in trouble here. So uh, let's take, let's see what happens with the zombie dog before I end the video, just in case I die. Yeah, there's three of them. Nah, do they see me already? Nah, uh, not that one. Uh, it starts to rain. Mm. Yes, yeah, so many, so many dogs, I might really be in trouble with them. And because that's a hotel, they uh, they don't have single windows here. I could uh, create a bottleneck in to deal with the dogs. The door here is really my only option. And if I go there, I'll be uh, at the mercy of randomness with what whatever else I see in there. 